Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have a very quick update coming from the folks at Trimble, the current owners of SketchUp. Now we've already seen SketchUp come up with a very cool set of updates over a period of years and it is also worth knowing that with evolution of how people get to work and also how people create stuff, everyone wants to be mobile. Now that is exactly the same thing that the folks at Trimble are doing right now as they're actually trying to create a much more interactive and mobile version of SketchUp that everyone can be using on the go. And this has led to the current announcement of a beta that is being launched for SketchUp for iPad. So they would want everyone that owns an iPad right now to be able to work on the go by simply working with SketchUp made for mobile. Now for you to get started with this, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right over here where you can join the SketchUp for iPad beta registration and this is going to get you up to speed. So once you go in here, you can put in all the details that is required of you, agree to the terms and conditions, sign in that you might probably want to be receiving emails from SketchUp or not, and then register and once you're done you'll be lined up for the beta that is coming very soon this comes with more like a building tool that everybody will be able to use that is very reminiscent of what you have with the default sketchup and also it is coming with uh, some sort of annotation tool set that you might also be working with now there's a couple of things right here that you can see that's been made with sketchup for ipad and it makes sense to see that this is definitely going to change how you work on your mobile devices and of course lots of you guys would be like why not just use the web version of sketchup instead of creating an iPod version. But the difference is very, very clear. If you choose to use a SketchUp for web on your desktop, this is super cool. It works very nice. There's a couple of things you can do with that. But on your mobile devices, you are sort of restricted to some extent. Now, one of the things that you'll notice if you're working with this on a desktop is by default, once you have the app.sketchup.com open, which is actually a free online app that you can use to do your SketchUp stuff, just in case you don't have money to pay for the license or you would like to try SketchUp, you can see that some of the things that you can do here are pretty nice. You can orbit around this. You can do all of the filleting if you like. You can do all the offsetting. So in this case, you can do whatever you want and have some sort of satisfaction while trying to make this thing work. But that is not the case once you're working with SketchUp for mobile. Now, if you also proceed to use this on your mobile device, of course, you would notice that you can zoom in and out. You can do some very cool functions with the tool set, but then you would not be able to orbit around your scene. And this is one of those things that might be a bit of a limiting factor right now, which I think may have led to the creation of SketchUp for iPad. And of course, from what we can see with the teaser video, you can actually import things from the SketchUp warehouse and load them directly onto your iPad. It is also worth knowing that you can do copy and pasting of stuff. And for the most part, you may also be able to save scenes and also save some settings depending on the scene that you're working with. And to me, this is definitely gonna be very, very useful for most of the people that would like to have variations of what they scene would look like and they can store these things and definitely work with it. This is taking advantage of the performance that you can get from the iPad alongside with the flexibility and also the beautiful performance that you can get with your Apple Pencil. Now you can also see that there are several apps on the App Store that you might want to try out if you're looking for something that is very close to what you can get with SketchUp but of course you don't really mind the learning curve. So this is more like it. For those who would like to read more about this I'm going to put a link in the description that can bring you right here where you can check out some of the things that you might want to see and uh, some of the things that you might also want to read and of course for those who would like to also get some free models you can obviously go over to sketchup warehouse and grab some free models for yourself and start playing with this sketchup for ipad is coming very soon and of course if you want to keep in touch with this you can simply go in join the beta right now and get updated once this arrives tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.